So the, the great thing about this is, is you see the, the orange hand it allows you to understand the different time zones and then you've got the 24 hour dial. Welcome to About Effing Time, the number one watch podcast in the world. Where? What? In the world, ever. I thought it was like Mars or something like that. <laughs> what I'm metric? Andrew. What? I'm, I'm a, let's get to introducing ourselves. I'm Andrew. I'm Adrian. I'm George. I'm Lucian and I've completely just come to crush the fight. <laughs> yeah. The guys are in town, so I was like, right, I got a few hours. I'm like, right, I'm coming to see you. And then I got roped in. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Here he Unless is. My ankles are tied to the chair right now. So exactly. yeah, I ain't, I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> You're a free man. <laughs> Lucien, th that is exactly what's happening. <laughs> you know, we've crammed you into our three person setup because we, you have a situation. I do, I do. Um, wait, 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 wrist check, maybe? Well, no, I, I'm going to jump into it, but we can do a wrist check quickly because actually that leads to the situation, yeah. doesn't it? I'll go first. I've got my Kermit. This is my 50th anniversary Submariner from 2008. Fantastic, and let's see if I can get my boss watch the boss told me to take it off the wrist so we get some <laughs> sexy... Great steel bra sexy bracelet, oh, sorry, um, bezel. It's it's really cool. This is, I, I bought this when this was far more affordable. Paid five grand for this. I used to mess about with it, take the bezel off, customize it a bit. You've only bragged about that five or six times. <laughs> it's just because I've made a shit ton of money off this watch. My guy, my guy. <laughs> my guy. Oh, yeah, I got a new shot. I've got a khaki field, uh, Hamilton on a beautiful beige strap with leather keepers. What, what are you laughing at? What? Because what? I brought that to the one that we did with the pilot. Did you? Yes! Okay. Oh my god, fuck! It's different. It's That's cool. cool. <laughs> it's a cool watch and you took the piss out of me for it. No, so No, I didn't. It yeah, was, you did. It just isn't a big pilot. And it's got a tropical dial, it's got it's a lovely awesome. brown dial. Nice. Um, Hamilton Khaki Fields are uh, awesome. Honestly, the only thing is it needs a Bark and Jack. Um, uh, yeah, thanks, George. Oh. Bark and Jack Nessus nice Strap. Yeah. Sorry. George, if you have anything to promo, promote, by the way, listen. Yeah, yeah, no, I will, I will, I will. I will. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous right now. There's not much coming out of me for a reason. You'll find no. out why in a second. Okay. okay. You're safe, you're safe. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I, that missed everything. Oh, I've tried to miss everything. <laughs> uh, I've got a Bamford B347, um, forged carbon, single push chronograph. Oh. Uh, and for me, this is a, this is my chronograph watch. It's... Uh, I don't know how more I can describe it. It sounds like I'm promoting it, but it, I, I'm not. I, I just love wearing it, and it's a great travel watch. And I put it on the blue rubber strap, and it's a quick deployment rubber strap, and it's just fun to wear. Killer. Awesome. Well, I guess that leaves our guest, Lucien. This is the reason why I've not been saying anything. I'm just like <laughs> quietly going into myself. What's yeah. on your wrist? You know what? Um, Ta-da! <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Get me in shot. Get yeah, me in yeah, shot. yeah. There's, uh, the, the reason why you can't see anything is because there's nothing there. Um, yeah, I, I don't have a watch. It's about fucking time we talked about that. Let's do that. Do you want to hit the thing? I'd love to. Ding ding. Boom. And we're off. Game so, on. Lucien, let's get straight down to it because yes. you have come to a gunfight with, like, with nudeness, with like, <laughs> with nothing at yeah, all. My batty is out bad. Um, <laughs> you have raw dogs. So out this, of it. And this is the reason why I've come in. I'm, I'm, I'm here for the hustle. I'm here for hustling you guys because I, 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 I turned thirty this year. Work's been going quite well, and I'm at that time in my life now where I want to invest into something that. That that can have for for a long time. Yeah. So tell us quickly about work. Work. That, that, that's something I because I, we can get onto the watch side. Yeah, but cool, but, cool. but it's yeah. like that thing of for me, you're kind of in one of the coolest shows. Oh. You are you're kind of setting some new trends on style and things like that. Tell us about what show, you, and then then also you've got some new, new things happening I'm as well. I'm officially now in one of the coolest shows. This is today. This is Boom. the coolest show. Oh, oh, oh you've heard it here first. You've heard it here first. Um, but yeah, so we, um, I do a show called Emily in Paris um, for Netflix. We just shot the third season. Uh, it comes out on the 21st of December, 
And wow. um, yeah, so it's really exciting. Um, things are going good. I've got a couple of other movies coming out. Um, Your Christmas or Mind for Amazon with a guy called Asa Butterfield from um, Sex Education. A few really cool actors, um, Danny Mays and stuff like that. And um, yeah, and some other stuff I'm, I'm working on, start filming at the minute. Um, doing an animation, which is pretty cool. No way. That I didn't think I had a cool voice for it, but apparently I do. So that that I'll, I'll take that. Is that where the husky thing's coming from? You know, I actually was supposed to be shooting today, <laughs> and um, I'm, my, my voice cracked a little bit earlier on. So that's why I was like, "What am I going to do in my day? I'm going to come." So I've fun. got one of the most serious questions about Emily in Paris. I mean, Give so me. serious. Ooh. Here we go. Do you speak French? I don't. I speak. I, speak I don't speak any <laughs> French whatsoever. <laughs> whatsoever. whatsoever. I, I was. Like, I don't think say merci beaucoup wrong. <laughs> so my thing was, I was saying thank you, nice bomb to <laughs> everyone the, 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 the last year and from, from Uber drivers to, to, to staff and uh, luckily I didn't get me too for it. But um, <laughs> yeah, I feel, uh, yeah, my, my French didn't get any better. Okay, yeah. okay. So I'm, I'm holding my hands up. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and say, say yeah. it's a work in progress. Okay. Work in progress. Work in progress. Can, can I give a little backstory here? Because I didn't even tell you guys how no. this whole thing happened. And just so, turned up as well. Literally just rocked in. Like, who is this guy? So, look, we've been, you know, a little bit of slidey DMs. Yeah, but, yeah. Do you want to set the scene? How did we meet each other? What so happened? We was out in, um, it was my, one of my first times in Rome, actually. We was out there for the Bulgari event. They was promoting their new watch, which was... The, the Ultra Finissima. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, oh hello. Stunning. Yeah. And I was there, and was having the, the event after, and I saw these three really nerdy guys that just didn't belong <laughs> in this sea of, like, supermodels and whatnot. And I was like, I was like, and then I, I was next to them. I, I was like, I was like, I was like, I want to know who this guy is. I, like, this is God, he knows you very well. Interesting. Way yeah, more interesting. Man, yeah, 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 the land. And I had a really long beard, and you kept you kept stroking my beard. <laughs> was, that, was that what it was? Yeah, yeah. I think it was. I just remember saying the landlord of um, Australia. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, Russell Crowe. Yeah, yeah Russell we Russell had a little, Crow. we had a little chat. Good old pops. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there, it was, it was, it was something that was really intriguing to me because watches have always been something that was always so far away from. I guess the world that I grew up in, and uh, and being at the event, and then chatting to you guys about about your kind of your love for them, um, it really inspired me to kind of want to get involved. And that's where this this involved. brief came from, guys, because Lucien said, "Well, it's interesting because I'm coming up to something. Yeah. I've got to a place I never I never thought I'd get to, and I want something that's gonna. I mean, it, you tell tell us the brief, but what you told me was you, you were really honing in on what this watch needed to be and yeah. and you, you you know that you're heading towards a big purchase for sure and i, I feel like and it just needs to be the right one and it needs right. to be special it needs to mean something i guess it's like getting a tattoo you know what i'm saying it's something that's going to be with Mark. you for a long time Mark, that 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 yeah. stage in my life and my career and um and where i'm going with that you know yeah. and um for something that i can wear for for, for, for events whether it be red carpets to to turn it up and having that 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 serious business meeting and being taken seriously <laughs> yeah. in all the right ways, but kind of still keeping it youthful, young, and kind of yeah, being um I don't know timeless with it. I guess yeah. I think that's 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 the one. Does your character play uh, in, in Emily in Paris? Do you ever watch? Or? I play I play a British banker wanker. Oh, amazing! Basically on the show, and um they put me in this old school roly, which was lovely, and um was it quite small? It was small, yeah, it was small. Right. Um, I, I'll try and pull it, pull up a picture. I wasn't too sure what it was I'm called. Sure, we, I'm sure, yeah, we can find a photograph. Did but, you like it? I loved it, and you know, and that's the thing. I've never really rocked a watch because I was right. like, the day I watch, the day I want to rock a watch is going to be something that's special. Sure, and yeah. uh, and that's why we got in the conversation. And I just turned thirty this year as well, so kind of it's it's a it's a grand mark. Kind milestone, of year for milestone, and milestone. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. to celebrate you as an actor, and then it is also to celebrate on you turning thirty. These these are kind of like the big questions. I think we should do an episode sometime on this because I yeah. think it would be something more cool. milestones. Because yeah. that's the one thing we're constantly asked. My son's turning eighteen. Right. What should I get in? Sure. Twenty one wedding anniversaries. All yep. these things. It's it's yep. a it's part of the. I don't know, I suppose as people that talk about watches every day, it would have to be the most asked question is milestone yeah. benefits. But that's, I'm going to kind of run, run over to the audience and say, what have, has been your big milestones? What, is, what has been the nice. watches that really clock you? We all have them. We all have mm. kind of, you know, the time we got a dog or the this or the that. You know, it, the time what you got a dog. <laughs> he just needs an excuse to buy one. He's like, it's dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, for a new watch? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm like, okay. I turned no, 30. Okay. Some massive things in my career. You've got a dog. And you're just like yeah. uh, owning the pound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for it. George, uh, I, I love that. Um, and we're going to talk more about that. We'll have a whole episode about the time George bought a watch for, it, for his dog or <laughs> no, whatever it was. No, I didn't. Was. But, you know, it's, I knew you would Let's, let's talk about right? Alfie. Because whenever I, you know, whenever you pop up on my WhatsApp, especially when you send me, you know, video messages or whatever, <laughs> yeah. any woman that's in a 40 kilometer radius just faints. Oh, that, that's a. That's sweet. That's sweet. It's not that's sweet. sweet. Because it happened in Rome to a point where, do you remember? I was like, I'm trying to have a conversation with him, a meaningful conversation. Women kept coming up and saying, Excuse me, would you mind taking a picture of me with Lucien? Oh. Uh, and uh, bromance. Yeah, they, they, you've made a special card for us. I, I feel think, it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. No, no, let me say this. But, but at that time, you know, we, we were talking about this. And we didn't have anything to play with. We didn't sure. have anything to, to really expand on that. Um, so we have some stuff in here for you to actually Goody hold back. and play Ooh. with. We're getting to that. <laughs> but tell me more about Alfie because this character, it's it's the the badness that seems to make the women particularly <laughs> faint. You know, to, who is this guy? <laughs> is he a good guy? Yeah, you, you know what? Like I, I, I like him. He's, he's honest. He's truthful. He kind of comes onto the show. He's, this, he's, he's the most cynical kind of cat on the show. Um, with regards to not 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 loving anything that Paris has got to offer, and then he meets Lily Collins, Emily, and that kind of that all changes. It kind of gets brought into this world that he, he, well, he starts seeing the world differently, and um, and you, have, you meet people in, in your life that come along, and they make you see the world differently. And yeah. I feel like um, I feel like Alfie's definitely on on the on the path to kind of figuring out who he is in the next kind of step in his life, and and the, the stories that this the, the kind of the stuff that they're getting through this season is pretty fun. It's cool. Yeah. I'm and you can't that. tell us anything. Well, this is... Uh, oh, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my phone's on airplane mode, but I know someone <laughs> somewhere so already. Yeah. It's like, it's like, yeah, beep, it's beep, like beep, the beep. Netflix kind of execs. Um, yeah, the Netflix legal is going to be all over my ass. But um, but yeah, th this, this year kind of takes a few more twists and turns. And um, yeah, in true Emily in Paris fashion, it's 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 big, it's bold, it's bright, it's it's colourful, and um, it's fun. It's fun. Beautiful. It's, it's a show that comes out on Christmas. It's happiness. It's, yeah, it's happiness in a time where I think things are getting a little bit stale, yeah. a little mm -hmm. bit stiff. So it's nice to kind of bring a, a little bit of light into people's life, and yeah, and to to enjoy it and the cool. stuff that comes with it as well. You get to meet good people. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Can I um, can I ask another question? Watch wise. Uh, <laughs> I know that means. So I'm, I'm kind of getting into this as. You know, budget things like that. What 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 are you thinking? Is that, because because, because the brief. thing is, the we brief. didn't know that we were going to have a brief. It was just you were like, "Hey, I want to come and hang out with us." Yeah, yeah. And, hold and on, I, get me the brief out. I'll get the brief out. The brief's not that <laughs> brief. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of like going to you and going, "You can have a G-Shock. It's cool." Right. Okay? You know, cool. it's like it's like what what is the kind of briefing of what what type of watch that you're you know budget wise things like that roughly. You know, are you yeah. are you looking and what's it for? Up, yeah, is up it to 100 or under 100 over you know whatever it is yeah. you know is it 50 100 what it what is it 25 you know what's your top where's your think, where in your mind you know you don't need to be up that 100 but where where do you go in your mind no, what's, i think i think i'd like to i'd like to play with um play play with 100 and see where that can kind of take me but then also as well kind of understanding what that can look like because yeah. I don't know. Like I can throw a number out there and it not be yeah. There's no something connection that, to it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. it doesn't fit anywhere. So this is the reason why I'm picking your brains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. it's, it's also to give you a bit of knowledge into the into a certain you know forward, Because I think and the we'll stories behind it as well. Because yeah. at the end of the day, storytelling. Is, uh, oh. You know, because this is where we brought two or three watches. Uh, I think were work quite George, well. George, what is this? This, and you looked scared to hold that. So here, <laughs> this is a Nautilus. Put put that on your wrist, and and uh, and you know that is that's an early Nautilus. So that's kind of um, so six, seven, seven, six, seven, sixty, seventies. But uh, but it's um, but that was a guess. Cool. That was a swinging guess. That. But, but what I would but say it was invented about, in seventy six. So right. it's a, it's definitely. I think it's from the seventies. Let's, let's, yeah. let's get a wrist shot of that. <laughs> Look at that. See, I, so look at that on your skin tone. Pure class. That's beautiful. Yeah. Shit. We've jacked the brief. So, and again, the, yeah. in addition to price, it's also, is this like your good watch that sits yeah. there like the daddy amongst other watches? Is this the watch you want to wear every day? Yeah, I think, I think that's the thing. I feel like I need a daddy watch. 
<laughs> saying, like daddy's home. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And this but, but, but it seems like you don't want something that is going to sit in the safe and be on a watch winder for the whole of your life, and you're going to go take it out for yeah. You know, I can't. You know, you're, this is going to be going to events, doing things sure. that you you kind of go actually. So you want it to be wearable. You want it to be easy to use. You want it to kind of go instantly. I put it on my wrist. I can work it. That, Absolutely. Yeah. That seems. That's why something like that amazing. that works. No, we, we, we've yeah. we've got a. An old Daytona. Just, just look at yourself, mate. I know, I can yeah. see myself. No, no, I'm, like, really trippy. I'm listening, but, I'm listening. But, <laughs> the 59811 um, that's just come out um, is. 5811, yeah. I did say 5811. You said 598. You know, you know, 5811, yeah, 5811. Sorry, it has come out. And for me, I would go Aquanaut over the 5811 because, or I'd go for a vintage 5711 because I think that those. Those kind of work in that way. The the eight is a bit bigger. It's a bit kind of different. I think. On What's your the price wrist, on a five seven one one now? Do you have any uh, idea? Could you get it for hundred? Maybe, but I don't think so. I think that's mm, why I'm. It's still sky high. I'm, that's why I'm pushing on Naquin also. I think an Aqua. Yeah, there's, there's something about the bracelet yeah. that just looks How does that great. feel to you? This feels have you ever worn a Nautilus like that before? You know what? No, I've not. This is so the first time. Gerald so. Johnson design it is yeah. one of those that's is, uh, and it's steel that I love. Um, you know, the whole Very watch. Cool. <sighs> See, the Aquanaut I like as a watch because it's something new. Um, and, uh, I, and I think it feels sporty as well. So I think that's where, why I'm kind of saying to you is something like this with an articulated bracelet, you're going to have things like notches and things like that right. that will annoy you. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you dent and crack where something like that is a, is a great watch. This, this is white gold as well. So this, this is a nice under the radar. Yeah. It, 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 it's it's a pretty, what are you feeling there? You know what? I feel like, I feel like the, I'm going to call the strap action on that. It's, it's <laughs> it, it, after what you said there as well, because I'm clumsy as anything. I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing yeah. around, bouncing around, and do you know what I mean? Nights can get out of hand, hand sometimes. <laughs> nights? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Evening. It's romance. Evening. 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 I did right. witness yeah. that a couple yeah. of nights ago. Yeah. <laughs> You're quite right. You've got to be. <laughs> but Andrew, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like there was a little bit of like when ladies were coming up to you, uh, Andrew was like, Andrew's, was a Andrew's, a Andrew's like, oh, fuck's sake. Because yeah. normally it happens with us. It's kind of like we're we're kind of like your wingmen, to, oh, and everyone sure. else is kind of like, oh my god, you know. No, it was more. So it was more like I just I, I wanted my Lucien time. Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, that's something, that's something I had to yeah. share him. No, so out of those two, are you feeling that a, a rubber like that integrated rubber straps more you? I feel like it. It could be. I feel like. See, I think that slimness because this is not the same. Right. Okay. So it's, 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 this is different. Much but, this, but, but this is also yeah. small, is much smaller. But, but also that's, well. that's true. That's vintage, vintage. So yeah. The yeah. thing is, the new ones just the feel condition a on that the time. is fucking amazing. The condition it's good. On that. It's, a, it's a good watch. Though. So we that's also, as old as this, me. That is that is likely to be between forty and forty-five years old. And look at that thing. So how old are you? Yeah. Yeah, you're looking good, baby. You're looking good. <laughs> you know what he does? He goes to the, the bench and does this. I did the flex there. <laughs> did the flex. No, so is, it was kind so of we've like... got we've got two options there. Yeah. Adrian, when when you get that brief, where, where does your mind go? Okay, so. Damn it, I can tell he's cooking something here. He's cooking something. There's that coffee look. Wait, wait, what else have you got here? Well, I just brought this. This is Alfie's kind of vibe. This is where you're at now. With your character, right? With right. Rolex, yeah. you know. Yeah, for, for what you've described as your character, this my, my mind immediately goes to something solid gold, something really uh, Texan. This, this is this, the, this George. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is crazy. Because this, this, this is, is got quartz on the dial. So this is a. Uh, let's, 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 let's get so, it in the camera. camera. This is a Beta Twenty One uh, Texan. Uh, it's the only limited edition articulated, uh, so integrated bracelets. So you can see right there. It's the, oh fuck. It's the only and it's dead. Done. Uh, That's good. No, no, because yeah. the battery doesn't work on it at the moment. Um, but it's the only limited edition that relics. And I can just point out, because like watch people yeah. are all about details. That is hand engraved. Yeah. That number is hand engraved by Rolex on the case. Can you see that there? That's gorgeous, yeah. See those numerals? That is a hundred percent um engraved by hand. Look at that. So this is a real oddity. Uh, and also, like the and fluted bezels, it seems really like it's it seems like it's worn down. A pain in the ass to uh, restore. And apparently, up. the batteries they, oh, they last take particular batteries they don't last very long, no. and also they're very hard to find because they, they, they don't. Well, that's the thing. So my watchmakers are just like. Oof. Must be joking. And how do you feel about Daytona? It's one of the biggest hot watches of the limp with that. It's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's a big chunk, right? Yeah. And to think that they invested in all that gold for a quarter. That's very your. 
character. Yeah. You know, for me, yeah. that's that's kind of, that's the, I mean, that is a flex. It's a flex. It's a strong, strong yeah. flex. And I feel like, I feel like I'm a little bit more understated myself. But that's, uh, that's the choices I have are yeah. understated. Okay. No, no, when I say when I say when I say that, but what is understated? You know what I'm saying? Do I want to be understated? So this. this is so this is super popular right now, right? Hypey, I'm hypey, seeing hype. like every like entertainment wise. Yeah, you just yeah. feel the hype around you just escalating yeah, when you yeah. elevate. This doesn't suit. Let's let's play the game. Yeah. For me, uh, it doesn't suit him at all. It doesn't suit. This is you're you're cooler than that. This is yeah, absolutely. And, really and that's perfect. the thing is you're cooler. That I think works with you. I think you're cooler than that. We have, you know, there will be elephants. Does that feel too slim and elegant for you? Is there I feel a... like I feel like there's an elegance that comes with it that I feel would determine the time I'd wear it. I guess that's true. And I think that's yeah, that's, that's, that's a good, good observation. Though. There's yeah. something you, you mentioned earlier about um, wanting something that's that's like young and elegant, right? And I and feel like feel... this is old and elegant. Right. Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. I feel like especially white dog, but that's very new. Yeah. <laughs> Old and elegant. No, Captain elegant. Boring. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking yeah. white dog. Yeah. It is gorgeous though. Mm. Well, I think uh, that's the thing. I've got to take gorgeous out of this. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's yeah. get the wrist shot. Let's yeah. get yeah. the wrist shot. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's see. They let's, can. Let's see. Everything looks good on that goddamn skin tone. Oh fuck's sake. Oh, I didn't oh, improve my hands today though. You know. Yeah. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay. I drink Go on. on. Okay. So bring the game. Yeah. What you got? I've, I've got two pieces. One that is like, holy shit bags, that's cool. In my eyes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, oh, th yes. This is a Vacheron Constantin overseas petrol calendar. And let's get some. Oh, other... get the blue down. Get the blue down. No, no. I'd... Oh, you don't. You I, I like, like the skeleton. touches of blue. Okay. I, I like the, the little, little dots of blue. Let me get the other photographs up. Here we go. And this is multi strap change option. Right. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, you can you can get the rubber strap on this. So you get the the so Aquanaut can... version and the it, mm. it, it's the best of both worlds. So you can calm it down. Genius. Yeah. This this and you is can have leather too. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah, there's leather as well. I think it's blue leather, which I'm there not a massive yeah. fan of. Um, <sighs> sexy back, and easy to change the straps to these little little guys here. Amazing. But this is a daddy watch. This is a watch that. It, you like on a technical point, yeah. It's hard to get more than this, right? Okay, from a style point, I think this is fucking gorgeous. And what you mentioned about the elegance of this with it being thin, this is a very, very thin watch, but it's not too thin, it's not to the point of thinking, uh, I, I, I don't know, you could wear this with jeans, you could right. wear this chilled out and it still have presence, but it also has the elegance. You could walk down the red carpet with this and it would look fucking amazing. I think I love the versatility. Of it, you know, yeah, yeah. And stuff. quite modern. Like that's kind of something that I think with, with you, you picked it modern. It's modern. It yeah. feels yeah. in a classic way. It feels sim. It feels like you know it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it feels modern. I, yeah. I love the blue dial, but for me, I, I like the white and the little the, touches the, the of blue. blue. Do you like the yeah. white? The, the white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With the little touches of blue. Um, this and this is absolutely he's right. This is a daddy watch in the sense that it's the in terms of complications, a perpetual calendar tells you the date for, you know, in the realm of one thousand days without changing anything on the watch. If you keep it on a winder, the perpetual calendar means that it accounts for leap years. It accounts for uh it, it accounts for all the date variations for, for a period of um, you know, three to four years at a time, wow. sometimes longer. And, and also they they give you a little um kind of added bit that you can actually change more a pointer is allowed i mean yes. you would need a degree sometimes yeah. to set these watches because but, they're incredibly but. complex sorry to interrupt the show but it's about effing time we launched a discussion on watch winders <laughs> look watch winders are a obvious and to me very logical yeah. companion to beautiful watches and wolf winders who've kindly sponsored about effing time are one of the greatest brands in the game, and that's because they've been around for longer than many Swiss brands. They 1834! Found there it is, the, the, the nice. clue is on the box. Now, why would you get a winder? The fact is, if you are continually moving your watch, there is less of a need for servicing because the oil doesn't coagulate and congeal. There's all kinds of reasons George could talk about it that I won't. And he, the proof so is pudding. I've had I've had a perpetual problem, and the perpetual problem has been my perpetual calendar. And so <laughs> I have fine. put it in my Wolf uh, winder. Thank you very much, Wolf. And it has kept it alive for the whole of the show. And if you've been watching the show, you will notice it there. 
Now, Wolfwinders have a claim to fame, which is that they are the only winder company that counts rotations. It does not make a calculation based on time. It actually counts the individual rotations each day. Thank There's you. lots of Wolf products, aside from the two that you see here in front of us, there is Wolf Carry, there are Wolf Jewelry Boxes, there's all kinds of a Wolf world to explore. Go and do it. As soon as you get them set up by the them, you just wear it and enjoy it. Yeah. 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 And that's when you would have a watch winder. For me, I feel like you've dropped the drop the anvil already. I can step it up though. Oh. I can step it up. Yeah. Are you, yeah, you, you going to go too? See, I'm I've, gonna, I've got two, but no, you go next. I, but I'm going to step it down, so I'm going to. Yeah, because you've got big money, and and I think some so of no, this, this what's is the only, money on this? this is only eighty. So we've got only eighty. That's what yeah. we yeah. keep doing. We could go out yeah. to that lunch. Just feels like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> only eighty, wow. and you can buy some other stuff as well. Uh, yeah, you know, there'd Cup be some. Other... No, or, 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 or <laughs> even an IWC um, a Lake Tahoe or something like that. Oh, yeah. You know, you have that in a Tahoe, you'd be like, boom. George, yes. George, where do you want to go? No, no. Okay, I want, no, I want, I want to, to carry on from that. Can can we go to the where, where was my um, AP page? This is the best party I've ever crashed. <laughs> yeah. So this is me. We love this challenge. Okay, so this is now. This is me. <clears throat> now the ring. Oh, uh, yeah, that is gorgeous. Did anyone hear the angels start singing? Oh, Look at you. you. You just did the face. And I'm like, okay, okay cool. That's my eyelids. Uh, my eyelids. Yeah. Now look, we've we're cheating. We're cheating quite a bit. Okay. Because was it Cosmopolitan? What, Cosmopolitan magazine, actually, what did you yeah. Say? yeah. We're not here to, yeah. That's uh... <laughs> no, no, but like that's that's fucking spider. That's like the the drop the anvil on everyone. It is. Well, and look, it's only four grand more than the VC on retail, which of course is an important point because it's not like you can walk in and buy it. The reason I think this is more you, and the reason I think this trumps uh, the VC in this case, is because the VC dial configuration and the overall look of it, right. and that sort of Subdial configuration 12, 3, 6, 9 is a very classic perpetual calendar mm. layout. So it has a little, to me, a little bit of a classic feel about it. And then, of course, all the modernity of the, the strap change and the open mm. working. Whereas I find that this speaks entirely to a new approach, uh, a modern take, and again, a, a breathtaking sort of um I'm looking twist. at you, I'm looking at you, I'm looking I at the watch. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Back and forth, I'm like flicking between like, wow. I do want to, like, I love to, I love beating these guys more <laughs> than anything on earth, but we're cheating because <laughs> we already had kind of pre-agreed for Cosmopolitan when you came to me and said, Cosmopolitan want to know some stuff. Like three in the morning and I was like, I've got this interview to do with Cosmopolitan magazine. I was like, what, 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 what watch would I buy myself? For, um, and, uh, and what would Alfie? What would Alfie kind of do? Kind of molding the kind of myself and Alfie together. And um, was back did, 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 did you see a lot of similarities? Between there are a lot of similarities, and I feel like that's the. Um, I feel like I, I downplay a lot of things in my right. my day to day. Whereas I feel like Alfie as a character, he's suited and booted day to day. He's in the office. He, he's making them deals. I'm the complete. I, I kind of go into myself, kind of a little bit more humble about what I what I what I do and what I want to achieve. Right. Whereas, um, and I feel like something having something that I I, I own that is. Me swinging my dick a bit, mm -hmm. yeah, but in a nice, in a really, really no, no, nice no, no. way. And, 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 it's something that you, I feel you, like you've, you've made achievements, and, yes, and, and you want to feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I, can I just say, what the fuck, <laughs> Alfie? Is a banker. You have to own the fucking bank to own that. <laughs> I'm like Jesus fucking Christ. Like, like if you're saying Alfie would wear that, that I'm like, I, I'm like that's oh. that's that's owning the bank. That that's like literally you are no, the best sorry. trader on it's, earth. It's eighty four thousand pounds. It's within his budget. I, I feel yeah. I have to bow out with that. That that is that is. Do you know what fire. I mean? Though I mean, I, obviously, I think that I often say that the Vacheron Constantin, Vacheron Constantin ultra thin overseas collection, whether it's the titanium um, tourbillon, whether it's the blue dial um, perpetual calendar, that that people forget just how amazing and grail and trinity those watches are. Yeah. But. I just, there's something about this. But that's that also. We landed on. It's in the magazine. Yeah. It's now out there. But, but it's and also totally hen's teeth. teeth. <laughs> it's, it's hen's teeth. You need to know someone to know someone to get one. And I think yeah. that's what I love about this is you. it's the inner sanctum watch, you know, and yeah. that's what I love about these watches. I like the ceramic versions. I like everything. Look, AP's anniversary watches were really clever because they came out and they were like, 
we're, we're just going to re-perfect perfection. Mm -hmm. and, and they really didn't. They just like went... One percent you know, changes here and there. Yeah, and that yeah. was it. And it was so clever. And I think this is one of those... It is drop the mic. And, and the thing is, you raised the bar on it. But... And, you know, you said on a watch that you would go um, have a good day and, and walk away from the, the idea. So I'm kind of saying have a good day for you. Okay. Because I think it is an amazing thing. I, I want to kind of bring something else to the, the market. I want to bring... Have a good day is our white flag. That means that's kind of a like, it's rare, but if, if you yeah. serve it on you, someone, wow. you know, wow. if you get wow. it, you can't he's, win. He's, that's, he's, that's, he's, he's won. Good. He has yeah. won. We, but, we cheated. But that's but, right. Well, you did cheat. But, <laughs> um, win's a win, right? But, um, <laughs> but for me, I, I've got two watches side by side because I think to myself is you can get bang for your buck. I think you can also get the rarity, the coolness, the, mm. the other vibe. And for me, the two one side by side would be uh, Lang & Son. Uh, Zeitworks. I oh, think this is a oh, cool wow. watch. Look at that. Um, you know, I think. Have you is... seen this watch before? No, no. Okay. Can, can me... we get Lucien's first impressions? Because for someone that doesn't know about this digital display, um... okay, no. Just, uh, what do you think? I think it's it's smooth. It's smooth. It's like it's like a rum at the end of the night. Do you know what I'm saying? No eyes, just rum in the bottom of your glass, and you kind of conquered the week. How poetic is that? I say it's just kind of got that gloss to it that um that is 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 is, is lovely. It's lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. My, you you, you could write like the little marketing <laughs> captions yeah. for it's <laughs> rare. captions on your Instagram. It's rare, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's rare that we all shut up. Yeah. And but that's that's a beautifully oh. said thing. And digital display, like it's, it's yeah. sort of this this idea, because of course we start with digital watches when we're kids. For sure. And imagine for sure. finishing with one yeah, when you're yeah, 30. Yeah. With a that is a finishing yeah. watch. That is a That's finishing watch. Yeah, and, and this is the thing is this is out of my budget and I want one. This is my you know, I have a I have a ceiling that I hit and this is this is out of my budget. Right. It won't say on there, but oh, yeah. but but they are away. Price but, but, right but they are then they're almost half the budget or just over half the budget. So, oh really? So, so that's where I look at this and think Actually, it's a really, really cool watch. Oh. It works. So that's fifty thousand pound. I, I think. Give well, look, I'm, I'm look, just quickly looked on Chrono twenty eight and uh, twenty four. It's fifty eight roughly. Okay. So, so for me, when that's I look, at, that's on Chrono twenty four. So I don't. I, there is other places where you can look. That'd yeah. be one hell of a red carpet watch. And that's the thing because would be... most people don't have it, and it's something different. I like the gold with the black because I think yeah. it's something really nice. Mm. So that's one. That's one. And my next one is something that I love. Um, and I love, and I've got one here with me, is the Perpetual Calendar by IWC. Oh, you to try on something very different. Um, the reason why is because, firstly, you get bang for your buck. If you get them secondhand, they, they are literally, they're worth so much more than what, what you know, the parts are right. worth more. Wow. Uh, it's Kurt Klaus designed this. It all comes off one crown. So when, when the Vacheron, you've got all these points that you have to push into, this you don't. It all comes off one crown. Now, look at the back of it. Look at the case back. Case back. Actually, like, listen, I'm totally jacking you right now. No, it's absolutely, it's absolutely so, fine. So this, this yeah, is a white yeah. gold watch. Um, I, 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 you know, there is different websites you can get the, you get the watch from. The size of that rose. Um, but it is, Kurt Klaus is someone I'm very... Shall I, shall I drop the mic again? I was very lucky to meet Kurt Klaus uh, a while ago and... <laughs> and then dropping around um, here is epic, man. Yeah. 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 Get amongst it. Uh, I'll put it on, put, put it on, guys. Put it on your wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's yeah. a perpetual calendar, so that, that does day, month, year. Um, it, it, it even kind of tells you how, no, it, it, it's, um, but it's one of those great watches. Um, this is one of the limited edition steel ones. They've got the brand new one that's come out. I just think that the layup, the layout, I think it's a good size watch and it is, and the black, the gold version, the, this white gold version, there was limited editions and there is even a beautiful blue dial version. And I just think for let's best say half of what the uh, Lang & Son is, you're getting, a, a, you know, that's what I'm saying secondhand. Brand new, you're looking at maybe 40, 40-ish. 40 yeah. I think for me, that is a serious watch with a serious... Serious design and serious. How movement. do you feel about this? It's an entirely it, different vibe. Completely, it feels serious. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's one of them ones where like don't don't don't. Fuck can you get it on and close it? Let's let's do the whole thing. Push it, it hard there. on. Yeah, yeah. You, you help him, George. You, you be the uh, sales salesperson. Uh, it's tight, so let me just do that. There we go. Because um, we've gone from a slim. Oh, um, 5711 to a watch yeah. that's like two or three times that thickness and Literally. it's an entirely different vibe. Yeah, but 
but it means business in a different way. It's, and certainly watch lovers look at that and they know that yeah. you're wearing a perpetual calendar. So is this the white gold version? This is the white gold. Yeah. This was yeah. a limited edition Get version. Under it. And so just so everyone knows, I picked this up very, very cheaply at auction. Uh, sad that I, I, you know, I should have brought this brand new, but I, and this was the first watch that made me fall in love with the perpetual calendar was because I love the idea of this yeah, whole yeah. thing versus other watches where you've got other watches where you have to press all these bloody buttons on it. This all works from one crown. Mm -hmm. So, so one of the, the, the premises of of mm. this this podcast that we do is is we're we're brutally honest. So, at any point we show your watch that you think isn't your thing, well, let, let's ask for the brutally I'll, honest. I'll be, take, I'll be, take I'll be so, so, so I can we, we, appreciate we, it. I can appreciate this. Yeah. It's not I, would, I would ne I would never never want to. I would never touch it. So, mm. so okay, let's I'll never touch it like that, but I just think no, that no, it's, no, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's no, like... But, okay, so it's out, it's out. But, but down the line, but, down but, the line maybe. But the yeah. Lang and Son? What, what, what I think George is, is, is pushing for is... <laughs> pushing for. What I think George is highlighting <laughs> is how epic watches you can get. Yes. For under. For under. Yeah. Mm. And, and that's, that, I, I think that's really powerful. I think we your choice... We went close to budget. We we went close to budget because we went shit. Okay, cool. We've got this much. Let, yeah, let's let's yeah, do it. Yeah. But this is a really awesome point. Is the fact that yeah. this is a this is a daddy watch, yeah. but this yeah. isn't an everyday daddy watch, right? This mm. this no, is, this a is sort of the thing. red carpet watch. This, this is, is the red carpet this, watch. This is this is if you were with any other celebrity and they think they're into watches and you turn up with one of those, they're going to be like, mm -mm. oh, oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. and and that and and it doesn't need to be. I mean, the strange thing is, you think of some of the rare like a roger smith mm -hmm. you know they are worth a lot but so Ed really Sheeran loves these obscure high-end british mm. brands right he's got two roger smiths yeah. uh you know and, and these are watches that again they're not going to uh, appear in the tabloids as you know ed Sheeran yeah. rocks the yeah. epic watch no one's going to know yeah but he he knows yeah and, that's... and other people it, it's the it's the flex it's the <clears throat> the thing of kind of knowing like when we say that's a vintage one you know if, if you know the Patek was a vintage watch or or something like that that's why i you know i i i think the iwc is out sadly i think yeah. it's out but what i wanted to do is give you two brackets of price mm -hmm. because i i i'm always known as the person that's spending the money yeah. Uh, and for me, that was where I wanted to bring something new and kind of do something new. Guys, we've talked a lot. I'm no, parched. I think, no, I think, I think it's lovely. I think, sorry, just to jump in there. And I feel like there's, there's something you said, Dan, it's, it's about how to find, it, it's the journey that watch has gone on. I feel like the story that that tells. And I feel like that's something to me where it's, it's something that's not that easily available, but depending on the price yeah. and whatnot, and, and, and that, that, that uh, yeah, the journey it's been on, I think that's, that's one of that's, standing out a lot more to me having this conversation yeah you know what I'm saying? But, but think Who about the journey that you're going on as well because i want to ask is... about that like did you ever expect to get here was this honestly um 110 like blind blind belief in what i wanted and the amount of sacrifices i feel like i made i don't feel like i'm a step on the ladder of what i really want to achieve mm -hmm. and in the same breath absolutely not i've thank i count my blessings every day and just think about where i came from the, the, the small terrace house in Burnley with my mum and dad and my two brothers to then being on, 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 a, on a show like Emily in Paris, which is kind of like super international and, and, and what, what that gives as well. And I feel like the humbleness that that gives to be able to, and people, someone asked me the other day, said, how do you find being famous, for instance? And not for everyone's, you know, whatever it is, but I feel like to me, it's the idea I can make someone's day a little bit brighter by having that picture with them down the street or whatever that's that cool. might be. And I feel like that's why- You I are very it. good with your fans, I have to say. Oh, where, where, where does that drive yeah. come from? Look, is, is it drive or confidence that, that, that you knew you were gonna get yeah, you to know, the point of where, where you're at? I think it's, well, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is for you. <laughs> this is for me. <laughs> Is, did something just happen that threw you? Like, did, oh, did I break? I don't know situation? what happened there. What might have happened? Jeez. <laughs> wow, this is great. You got this. We're going to come back to your question, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I think we should because uh, there, there, there's something in. And, um, I enjoy hearing people's stories of, yeah. of where they've, how they've got to where they've got to, and there's there's always something in the background there. Yeah. Cheers to you, but, but we have this tradition. Cheers. I love this. I'm here for the traditions. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is our drinks break. Right, Pleasure. This is the sponsor of the podcast. This is oh, the beautiful. Four Pillars Gin from Australia. It's 
produced in my state of Victoria. The founder is a watch geek. We connected in the same way that you and I did through watches and now he's the main, or Four Pillars is the main sponsor of the show. Look at all these beautiful, look at the set That's we could make beautiful. here. Uh, so, and we do tend to talk a lot in this show, so there needs to be a little that? sip. But I think Adrian's question is so good, I must know the answer. Yeah, so whilst we're having a little sip, well, where does this confidence, is it confidence or is it drive? I think it's drive and I feel like it's, it's one of the situations where I feel been told since 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 I was growing up, we grew up in quite a racist area and whatnot, that nothing's going to be possible, this isn't possible. And having two parents that believed in me so much that I could achieve whatever I wanted to achieve, wow. kind of I owe it to them and, uh, and to my brothers and to the legacy that came before me, that being my grandparents that came from, from Antigua and, and, and did what they did and my mother's family. And I feel like uh, I've, I had such good friends growing up that I owe it to everyone. And they not only have I made sacrifices, but the sacrifices other people have made for me. Right. I feel like uh, it, I'd be an absolute fool to kind of take a step back or take a foot off the gas and kind of um, and let it fall to the wayside. I think, and and I want to, I want to, I want to tell stories that can make a difference, and I want to be leave a leave something behind that 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 not my children or whoever that that can can, can smile about and think, wow, that 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 kid went and did something, you know. And I feel like that's cool. It's a bit like have you seen um have you seen Troy the movie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know when his mother comes down to him at the beginning of the film? His mother's the god, and she says to him, and I'm going to butcher everything she said, <laughs> but um she comes down and says, look, listen, if you go to this, if you don't go to this battle, you'll have a family. They'll love you. They'll you'll you'll have children. They'll love you. They'll have children. They won't know who you are. But if you do go to this battle, you will die, but your name will live in the stars forever. Wow, wow. And there was something yeah. about that when I was younger that kind of just kind of rocked yeah, me. And it was like, what, what, what do I want to achieve? And, and, and how, how, how much do I want? Am I going to go all in or not? Mm -hmm. And I feel like I, 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 I go all in on everything, for better, for worse. And, and I'll come out the other side and I'll learn something from it. But I feel like that's the kind of the, the, the drive that, that I've got. And it's, I, I, I made a promise to myself and I'm going to go all the way with it. And I feel like that's where I guess it comes from. Still trying to figure it out. Sorry if that makes sense. Let's have a toast to that, man. Yeah, so right. toast, going all in. Going all in. Also, yeah. this, this is delicious. This is lovely, yeah. yeah. This has got an olive tinge to it. Um, and that's where this watch may, comes may, into may, the may story. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's totally fair. That's just <laughs> Wait, that, 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 was, that was awesome to hear that. Yeah. It's, it's, Thank you. it's yeah. inspiring to hear his oh, stuff man, like that. And what, cool. yeah. what's happening today is that we're talking about in that, because that journey to, to the stars, to, to leaving some legacy and to, to standing for something, mm. you do need to stop along the way at different points and say, but I need to recognise where I am now. Yes. Absolutely. And that's what this watch is about, am yeah. I right? Like, it's, yeah, it's, there's it's, some sort of levels being reached. For sure. And, it's, and, it's, it, and, and I don't take the time to pat myself on the back and say, well done, good job, Lucy. And it's like, no, it's, it's go, go, more, go, more, go, go. Up, more. Up, up. Yeah, and, and not even the fact of more, more, more. What, what, what does more look like? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't, but I, that sense of fulfillment that I picked a career acting, I'm never going to feel fulfilled. But it's always changing. <laughs> it's totally <laughs> insecure. And then, yeah, and the minute I feel like you do feel like you, you've, you've accomplished it, it's the time to check out and do something yeah. different, you know? Um, but I feel like time is, is, is such a, it doesn't exist and it exists it's so much. And I feel like having something like a watch that can kind of, I can check back in on and be like, okay, cool. You know what, Lucian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you deserve this. And this is something that's not just going to, it's not just, I'm not throwing money at something. This is something that I want to, will have for, forever as well. Do you know what I'm saying? It's something yeah. that's going to hold, hold its own time, if that makes any sense. You know, it, it should be an ad for watches. Uh, this is this is why we love these things. Oh, yeah. In a world of disposable things that get upgraded, that get yeah. superseded, that are you know what do they call it? Planned obsolescence. Yeah. All the right. Apple stuff. Yeah. It's Hard planned you, within eighteen months. It's Completely. planned to be out of. Whereas yeah. this this is as old as me. Yeah. Doesn't look quite as good as me, but it, it's it's <laughs> to the test of time. I'm joking. No. My God. So true. And I never thought I'd be able to sit in a in a room and I never thought I'd be one of the guys like I, I don't need to watch to show this or show, to show that to anyone else and, and it's not for anyone else oh, mm, it's for yeah. me yeah. and 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 it's an investment into where i've come from and, and where i'm going to go that's why yeah. i think each of the watches so far mm. that we've all chosen is is to give you that aspect of a different you you know mm. different idea i th I, th 
Should we ask God. the audience? Because like, we've talked a lot about it. So I think did and we've got two questions to the audience this, this <laughs> To be <laughs> brutal, uh, it, it was, was it the AP? I think the, a, the AP speaks and also I, I, I did. Is it? Ah! But he's going to bring one more. No, I, 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 honestly, I, I, I have to bow out to both of you because you, the, the AP is killer. The yeah. AP is stunning on all accounts. The but AP also, is mega flex, George's so. mindset, I think I have to bow out to that as well. I, I love the idea that, that you can find a, a, a daddy watch for a fraction of the price and also have something like a, a, a steal overseas as your daily... This is still a big boy watch, right? Yeah. And this, this, this is what, 24, 25? Or is this 32? No, 26. Yeah. And, and these are all retail prices. The aftermarkets are a little bit different. Um, but Four pillars. Thanks, thanks yeah. for the, the sponsorship. The thing yeah, is, as well, our two sponsors. A big boy watch, wherever, wherever I get, will be my big boy watch. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's <laughs> just because of the thing people think it's a big boy watch. Like, no, nah, that's my daddy watch. You know yeah, 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 I yeah, did yeah, this, yeah. and this is why I chose it, and this is what it means to me whatever the price of that might be. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. For, for, for that much, becomes a much symbol. smaller amount, this is my daddy watch. Beautiful. <laughs> That's your castle, baby. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. But let's ask the audience because yeah. uh, the engagement's part of About Effing yeah. Time. We love it when you guys, I mean, the comments are the thing we love the most. The show launches on a Sunday and all of Monday I've just put a line through it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, on, the, on this, <laughs> so what on do you this, think? On this time, um, we're going to give a sticker pack away. Oh, cool. I, Let's I, do I that. think honestly, we'll give a sticker pack away this time. Um, I think because, time we did that. Um, I, I, I'd love to know. I'd love to know what would be that watch. Mm. What would be what would be that well, idea? You know, so the well, hundred thousand pound watch. There's a lot of Lucien fans out there. Oh. Which, which one of what we've proposed is is the one for him? I can't wait to see. Yeah. <laughs> so, so best answer. We'll judge it, and then we'll announce it on our therapy session the weekend after. Perfect. Cool. I, think, I think that would be an awesome way of doing it. Yeah, this, this has been a great show. I, I've got to say th thank you to our sponsors. Um, oh, Land Rover. Land Rover, Land Rover as well. I mean, yeah, Four yeah. Pillars and Land Rover, I mean, you know, got us here and got us drunk. It's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're <laughs> bloody lucky on that. I'm getting an Uber, huh? Um, <laughs> then there's also something else that you wanted to talk about today. Yes. That I can never pronounce. The B-Y-O-I. It's, uh, we have a, set, a part of the show called Bring Your Own Independent because, okay. and look, without getting emotional about it, we support independent artists and watchmakers in the industry because it is an industry dominated by enormous brands. Sure. The power sure. that these brands have is unholy. Mm -hmm. So we like to seek out the, the brands and the creators that have no power that are starting their journey, but that have something really credible to bring to the table. And we've chosen someone really interesting for you today. Uh, her name is Julie Crowless, and she is an illustrator and this is epic, an boy. artist. She is the most amazing. I mean, she's, she did a monocle. Let's zoom in on some of her work or watch her, a time lapse of one of her. Look at that detail. It's just... Oh. For the last five years, I've been focusing on an orological collection of large-scale graphite drawings. I'm frequently asked how I got into drawing watches. I stumbled into this world quite unexpectedly after reading an article about iconic timepieces. I'd been looking for an area of focus that would keep me interested through tangible and abstract qualities, and the art of watchmaking does both these things. Watches are portals into so many different worlds I love. Design, fashion, sport, adventure, you name it. I'm enchanted by the stories they tell and the secrets they keep as objects we carry through our lives. So, Julie Crowless, we salute you. I'm going to pull up one You've got finished to bring artwork. It. Oh, well, there Look you go. That. Is that a sign or what? Beautiful. But Julie, you... I'm, I'm, you've got a new follower in me anyway, so I'm definitely going to <laughs> she, she, but, but this is B-Y-O-I. Yeah. I can never say it right, and even when I was the host, I can't say it right. <laughs> but she is someone that I've worked with her, and she she even gave me a little pot with all the pencils she used for for the piece of art. Wow! And she's just the coolest lady. Um, she she rocks a um, an aquanaut sometimes. She's learning to fly. She's like oh, when man. you look on social media, she you just go. She is just so cool. And so she's humble as well. You know, yeah. when you're talking about someone that, and she works nonstop, yeah. you know, and she is just, you know, you look at work work that she does and 
she's an artist. It's like you. I, 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 I don't know how you do it, and I don't know how she does it. And those are the two things you do. You know, there's a myth behind this whole thing of acting. There's a myth behind this. Is I can't draw to save my life. I can't act to save my life. And these are the things where I, I just sit back and go, wow. And she's one of those. Yeah, she's that's Amazing. special. That's special. Crazy, isn't it? Really special. And my flight to LA is just going to be literally just stalking. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucien, that was just crazy. Oh, guys, th th this happened. Yeah. Because I said to the guys at the start of the week, I said, there's a chance this is chat from Emily in Paris is going to drop in. And you both went, that won't happen. Um, so let's, let's just find out that. But it happened. No, it did. Yeah. And like, honestly, thank you so, so much for giving me, no, no pun intended, but thank you for giving me your time and, yeah. and, and going through this with me. Because it's, uh, yeah, it's really special what you guys are doing as well. I think it's great. Appreciate yeah, it. I'm, I'm, I'm a massive fan. Thanks oh, for joining. Thank you, Thanks man. Thanks for joining. Unreal. Truly. Yeah. Like Thanks for watching Better Time. Like and subscribe, I think, is another like thing. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, it up. I want to know everything. I want to know what your thoughts are as well. Um, yeah, whether it be Daddy Watch or. Will you check in and answer some comments? If people. 100%. Write yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah just, you're not getting rid of me, guys. That's a kick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you nominate Louis Chan's watch and he'll, he'll reply to you personally and send you a sign post. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Better Big Time. Thanks so much. You wrote it. Hey.